Hi, Nate with Userlytics here. Gonna be showing you today what to expect when doing an unmoderated mobile study in Userlytics. Now I'm using an iPhone with the iOS system. It works pretty similar for an Android. Um, so let's go ahead and get it kicked off. Now you will have received a code via the link that you accessed the study with initially. Probably got an email from someone to take a study. Click the link and then put in your information and got a code. Now. Once you have downloaded the Userlytics app, what you're gonna do is take that unique code and put it into the box you see here within the Userlytics app. All right, so we enter the unique code, we hit I accept terms of service and hit continue. Now today I'm gonna to be showing you actually screenshots because I'm not able to record my screen when I'm in a Userlytics study. So I've just taken some screenshots to kind of walk you through the process of what to expect. All right, now once you've entered that code, you're gonna go through a quick preview. It's gonna make sure your audio is working on, uh, and you're gonna have your screen recorded and all that kind of good stuff. So go ahead and speak out loud when you see this because it will not show that your audio is working unless you speak out loud so it can pick up the audio. All right, now you wanna make sure your do not disturb is selected as on so that you don't get messages during the session. So um, you can drag down in the top right hand corner of uh, an iPhone, for example, the top right hand corner, drag down and it will open this menu for you and you can select do not disturb on. For an Android, um, it might be kind of different on where you would select a do not disturb type of option, but it should have one. All right. Now, when prompted, you're gonna be asked to uh, share your screen broadcast. One important thing to do before selecting start broadcast is there is a little microphone in the bottom. You can see it's in red here. You need to select that as on before you can start the broadcast and that will begin recording your screen. And now we're in the study. So one thing I wanna mention first here is that in this study, what you're gonna to want to speak aloud, like the person who created the study and is having you going through their asset to give feedback, they want you to speak your thoughts aloud versus just going through and answering the questions presented. All right, so as you go through, if you see something you like, don't like, things you would wanna give feedback on, speak that out loud so that the recording can pick up your voice uh, and, and that can be included in the uh, analysis of the study. So those are really important, that verbal feedback. Okay, now a couple of things to note. Now that we're in the study, we have this box that's overlaying our screen. This is the Userlytics task box, and I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be referring to this later. This is where your instructions are gonna be. You can answer like different types of questions in here as well. All right, obviously you click the next button to go on to the next task. But in order to minimize this box, you're gonna see a little arrow that's pointing up in the top right hand corner of this box. If I select that arrow, what's gonna happen is that box is gonna minimize. All right, now I can still see how much time I have left in the study. And I can move that box around by holding it and dragging it if I'd like to. Uh, and if I need to go back to my test script to move on to the next task, I simply hit that blue box and it will open back up again. Um, to the box you see here that's full screen. Okay, excellent. Now, remember that in this study, I only have 30 minutes to complete it, so I need to finish every activity before the 30 minutes is up because the session will end at that time. Okay, now here you can see I have been redirected to a mobile website, which means I'm still within the Usalytics app. If I'm on an iOS device, the, um, the app will track my clicks. And again, I'm 19 seconds into a 30 minute study. And if I wanna see what my instructions are supposed to be, I click that blue box and the activity opens again. In this example, it's just asking me if I like the experience. So I select yes or no, and then I choose next. And remember, when I'm going through this asset, right, the Whole Foods Market website, I need to give my feedback out loud. Okay, now is an example of being, uh, if I'm testing an app, for example, because this was a mobile website, but now I've been redirected to download the Whole Foods app. So it's actually gonna redirect me outside of Usalytics to the app store to download. Once I've downloaded, I select open, and now it's gonna open the Whole Foods app for me. Again, this is outside of Usalytics. So that overlay box is no longer overlaying my screen if I'm testing an app. In order to get back to my Userlytics study or see what my instructions are supposed to be or to go on to the next task within the study, I need to um, slide up on my phone. Again, this is for an iPhone. 
And that's going to allow me to go back to the Userlytics app. I'm just basically gonna be navigating between the two, but your screen is being recorded the entire time. Okay, so now I'm back in the Userlytics app. Okay, I'm answering a few more questions and I'm moving along. Again, if I need to get back to the Whole Foods app in order to um, go through the rest of my task, I simply swipe up on the bottom of my phone again for iPhone and I can go back to the Whole Foods app. All right, once your study is finished, you can see I'm on activity seven of seven. It says, thank you, please click submit and then wait for your results to fully upload. So I sex, uh, select submit and then I'm gonna get this screen. I need to wait for that uploading to finish before I close the app. And then once I see this screen, now I am done. I no longer need to do anything else with the study. I can click finish, I can close the Userlytics app and I am done with the project. If you have any questions, please let me know.